Welcome back my loves. We are back home. I'm so happy to be back here. Today's video is gonna be all about the hair, a little bit of makeup, and an outfit. So basically, we just came back from the gym. I need to wash this hair of a mess. I'm gonna show you guys one of my favorite shampoos and conditioners. I've worked with them before. NYX Nature, I love them. Thank you for working with me again. I really love your products. And then I will show you guys a really quick hair tutorial, something very simple for the summer, easy to do, and then a little bit of makeup, very simple, and then of course an outfit. Kind of like a get ready with me. Those are fun. Let's get started. All right, so first thing you do, obviously you got naked, you jump into the shower, and you start shampooing your hair. So this shampoo conditioner, this is what I use on my everyday basis, even though I wash my hair every two to three days. And I just take a quarter size amount, sometimes less, sometimes more, depending on my hair, what it's feeling that week. And then I just make sure to massage it into my scalp throughout my hair for a couple of minutes and make sure it's nice incorporated and just get that blood flowing and circulating in my scalp to kind of obviously help my hair grow. The reason why I love NYX Nature products for my hair, it is straight up customizable, which means I get to choose the ingredients and activators for the shampoo and conditioner, which will benefit my hair. Anything that will help the damaged areas of my hair. The last step for the hair in the shower, all I need to do is either a conditioner or a hair conditioning mask. Today my hair is feeling really good, so I'm just gonna skip the mask and just go straight to the conditioner, get a quarter size amount, work it in from the middle to the ends of my hair. After I let it sit for a couple of minutes, do its thing, I rinse everything out, and I'm done with the shower. I know sometimes customizable things can get overwhelming sometimes because there's so many different things that you don't know about. They have so many great ready-made selections, so I think that's really awesome. For more information on Mix Nature and the shampoos and conditions that I use with the activators, I'll have everything in the description box below along with the links. Before I do any makeup, I'm gonna apply some leave-in conditioner and let my hair air dry as much as I can. <laughs> For my face base, I'm gonna use the Radiance Activator by Estee Edit along with the Lancome 24 hour foundation makeup. I'm in the shade 210 Buff, neutral. I think it's a little too light for me, but I make it work. Next up, eyebrows. I'm gonna prime my eyelids with some concealer and then set it with a nice neutral skin tone eyeshadow. I'm using the palette Tartlet by Tarte and I'm gonna use a shade Jet Setter to kind of deepen in my crease a little bit. I'm going from the outer end of the eye to the inner corner. I'm gonna take the shade Rocker and just kind of smoke out my top lash line. Next step is concealer, cover those dark circles, and then if any blemishes are showing, I'm gonna conceal those as well. A little bit of cream contour. I'm gonna set my face with some loose, translucent powder. A little bit of blush. And of course, a little bit of highlight. I'm gonna smoke out the lower lash line just a little bit. A little bit of mascara. For my lipstick, I'm gonna try the new Burberry liquid, what is it, velvet? Liquid Lit Velvet in the shade Fawn number five. Before I bludgeon my hair, I'm gonna add a little bit of heat protectant to protect my hair. <laughs> and I'm gonna give my hair a quick wave with a hair straightener. I'm just gonna alternate the curls here and there just to give it a not so cohesive wave. So it's kind of like a beachy look, if that makes any sense to you. <laughs> When I'm done with my hair, I'm just gonna run my fingers through and just separate the curls. So for this super simple hairstyle, I'm just gonna do two little twists right here, kind of like that fringe bang area. 
So this one's really great if you're trying to grow out your bangs or your fringe. And it just looks really cute, adds a little bit of texture to the overall look, and it's really simple. Take a bobby pin and just kind of rotate the hair around it and I'm just gonna secure it right now. And I'm just gonna do a second one just the same as the first. And here is the final look. Hair is done, twists are in. It's super simple, but really fun. I chose this really cute, fun, summery top. I love this leave the ruffles. And then really simple black jeans to kind of bring out the black and the top. And then super fun, simple, comfortable shoes with, of course, pineapples. Love it. I love how this all looks together. Very simple, comfortable, but cute. So option number two is just to keep your hair nice and simple and very chic and effortless. I just kind of put the hair to the other side to give it a little bit more volume. And for the outfit, I'm just something very simple, like a really simple tank top and then white shorts because it's super hot out, but also like a really light sweater because it does kind of cool down here in the summertime during the evening. And plus if we go out somewhere, it gets kind of chilly because it's so AC'd. And then the same shoes. Let me know which option you guys like better, A or B, one or two. <laughs> Before I say goodbye, I do wanna mention one thing. I've been getting a lot of comments and messages from you guys lately saying that you haven't been notified when a new video pops up. It could be one of two things. Either you're unsubscribed to my channel or you're not notified with the bell. So all you have to do is when you're subscribed to my channel, make sure you click on that bell after you subscribe. That way you'll be notified every single time when a new video is out. I know it's super annoying, but it has been going on for a while now on the YouTube side. I've been getting unsubscribed and it's just, it's a, it's a very annoying thing. But thank you for watching, thank you for listening, and I'll see you guys in the next one. I love you all very much. Bye.